Let's bring in now Monsieur Pierre Hugues Boisvenu. He is a conservative senator and founding president of the Murdered or Missing Persons Families Association. He joins us from Quebec. Senator, thank you so much for joining us. You just heard some testimony from Ariel Castro. A lot of online uh, feedback has been quite, uh, quite interesting. What's your reaction, sir? Well, I think that, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for that uh, interview. Um, I will not comment as, as long as I will comment uh, Bernardo affair. But um, for a victim, uh, using words like uh, um, thank you, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm happy. I, have, I apologize. It's like he, 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 didn't, he did not, I think, realize what kind of trauma those women went through on a such long period. I don't know. I think that guy is uh, is not is not sensible for a victim, and I think is is not his message, but his uh, his speech was uh, was not uh, was not truly. No, uh, look, he was saying I'm addicted to porn. I know it's no excuse, but dot dot dot. Uh, unbelievable testimony there. I'm almost speechless, but. We brought you on, sir, initially today to talk about the situation with respect to the notorious uh, schoolgirl school girl killer, Paul Bernardo, who wants to have some condo living prison arrangements uh, for himself. Uh, that, of course, has had a lot of folks up in arms. What do you have to say to that? And I only I want to preface this by saying the feds have come out and said uh, they've been assured that that will not happen for Mr. Bernardo. Now, you know, we have to remember that Bernardo uh, made over 43 uh, rapes. He killed, he was recognized uh, for a murder for three women, but we know that uh, it, it could be more. It's like a case of uh, uh, Picton, who uh, was just sentenced for six women, but he killed over 49. So it's a very dangerous man. He was also declared uh, dangerous, uh, a dangerous criminal. And uh, asking that kind of release or that kind of parole, we know that it's a right asking that, but it's a privilege to receive it. So uh, I'm sure that the system will not let that guy out for a long time, and also that he will stay in the uh, max what we call maximum uh, custody instead of uh, of uh, medium, because you know when you're in medium or minimum, you can receive a, a short period to go outside. It's it's very soft as a, uh, as a penitentiary. So I, I hope that the, the, the system will not uh, give that kind of permission. Senator, what kind of feelings would come from the victim's family? And I ask you this question mm -hmm. because I know, unfortunately, you know firsthand what this feels like. But what, how do you feel when a convicted killer like a Paul Bernardo or... or a lot of folks call him that monster in Cleveland, comes out and behaves the way they do. Most of victims are relative of victims because all those women, all those people are dead now. Though. So we represent uh, our son, our daughter in front of the justice. Most of them uh, think that uh, criminals receive more right, more attention than families. And that's why our government, since four or six years, uh, make a very... Uh, we shift on, on what kind of attention we should give to criminal uh, and to victim, and our side is on the side of victims. That's why, since three years, we adopt a strong law. Let's see uh, what we call the faint hope in the criminal code that a criminal can ask uh, a release after just 15 years of jail. We, 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 we uh, cancel that in the criminal code. Right. We also, for multiply crime like Bernardo, you know, in Canada, two years ago, if you make 40 crimes, you will receive just one life sentence. Now you can receive consecutive life sentence. Also, when a crime, uh, a number of is, is committed and the woman will be raped, we can extend the, the, the time that the guy received a parole to 40 years. So we, we react very strongly to be sure that that kind of dangerous criminal will not receive such uh, a liberation after a short period. But also, we make a very good progress to, to hurt victims, to give them a, a, a place in the system. But, you know, we, we, we have to do more. That's why next fall, we hope that we go on a, 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 a um, table, uh, what we call 
a, a victim of right charter, and I hope that the new Minister of Justice, Mr. Mickey, will go ahead with that uh, with that bill. All right, so we're certainly seeing some progress, and a lot of folks yes. would say a lot more work still needs to be done. Senator Boisvenu, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate this. Many times, many times. All right, good it is. Senator Boisvenu joining us from Quebec.